A little over five years ago, Sony released one of my top five portrait lenses of all time, the 70-200 f2.8 G Master lens. It was one of three lenses that started the G Master line, and it's been a workhorse lens in my kit ever since for shooting portraits in studio as well as on location. Today, Sony announced a new version of this focal range, and after shooting with it for the past couple of weeks, I'm here to tell you all about it. Introducing the new FE 70-200mm f2.8 G Master OSS2 lens. This is the world's lightest large aperture 70 to 200 millimeter f2.8 telephoto zoom lens, weighing it at only 1,045 grams without the tripod mount, which is 435 grams lighter than version one of this lens. To put that number into perspective, that's about the weight of a soccer ball. This is really going to come in handy for wedding and event shooters out there who have long shooting days ahead of them. Sony has really been hitting it out of the park lately in terms of their lens quality and performance. This lens features an 11 blade circular aperture with an advanced optical design that includes two aspherical and one extreme aspherical lens elements, two extra low dispersion lenses, two super ED and one ED aspherical lens elements, which significantly reduce chromatic aberration. The lens also has nano AR2 coating, which reduces flare and ghosting in your images. To keep up with these newer, faster cameras like the Alpha One, they've included four extreme dynamic linear motors, which gives you lightning fast, quiet, and precise autofocus. In fact, when you attach the new 70-200 to Sony's Alpha One, the autofocus speed performs up to four times faster compared to version one of the lens. Another benefit of this new lens is the improved focus tracking while you're zooming, which has improved by 30% compared to its predecessor. All of these benefits are going to give you confidence that you can see and rely on when you're shooting portraits, action shots, and anything and everything in between. Taking a look at the lens itself, it looks almost like its predecessor, but with a few key differences. You'll notice that they've incorporated an aperture ring where you could adjust the aperture from f2.8 all the way to f22. Just like you'll see with some of their G and G Master series lenses, you have the option to de-click the aperture ring, and they've even included an iris lock, which keeps the aperture ring in place so that you don't adjust it accidentally. You still have three customizable focus hold buttons, which makes it easy to use no matter what orientation that you're using to hold the lens. You'll also notice that there are three modes now, with the third mode emphasizing framing stability using optical stabilization when you're shooting moving subjects. I used this new lens for several studio portrait sessions and really pushed it to the max by pairing it up with the new Alpha One. Shooting the way that I typically do where I use continuous wide area autofocus with eye autofocus tracking, I found the lens to be really sticky on the subject's eye at every aperture that I would typically use. More importantly, the images are razor sharp. Check out the insane detail that I was able to capture in these portraits. Having used Sony's sharpest prime lenses, I really felt like this telephoto zoom lens really rivaled the kind of results that I would expect to get from a prime lens while having that versatility to shoot anywhere in that 70 to 200 millimeter focal range. The light weight of the lens was also really surprising. I often tell photographers who are wanting to get into portraiture that if you could only own one lens for shooting portraits, the 70 to 200 millimeter focal range really does it all, but the compromise was usually that you had to deal with the weight. But with version two of the 70 to 200 G Master, you're able to get fantastic results with much better handling. Here's some more of the images that I was able to get with this new lens. If you're interested in seeing a bit more about how these images were made, I'll have a full breakdown on my own YouTube channel, which will be linked in the description of this video that goes more in depth into the process for how these were made. From portraits to sports, landscapes, and everything in between, this lens should be at the top of your list if you truly value what great optics can do for your images. 
Pricing and additional details weren't available to me at the time of making this video, but it'll be linked in the description of this video. Let me know if you have any questions about this awesome new lens in the comments. And while you're there, subscribe to Alpha Universe as we have new videos releasing every single week. Now, if you're wanting to learn some new portrait techniques, check out the video that you see here on the screen, and I'll see you next time.